So some recollections of being a baby boomer, being a part of that generation that was perhaps the last generation to receive a whipping at school or to be threatened seriously with expulsion. I was brought up at a time when uh, men were told to take their hats off when they come indoors, uh, uncover, you know, get your, get your hats off and uh, hats and jackets. If you came in and it was raining or cold outside, take your hats and jackets off out inside. And uh, I can use a pocket knife to uh, sharpen a pencil if I have to. And, and of course I could carry a pocket knife to school when I was a boy because we trusted young boys with sharp objects. And young boys with sharp objects who used them improperly got their ass beat. I remember AM transistor radios and I remember uh, buying 45s and eagerly looking to hear the flip side song, the one you'd never hear on the radio, you know, comparing us to our parents and our grandparents' generation and comparing us to our own children now. But there's some lighthearted things in there too, like playing football without a helmet in the rain for hours and hours and hours. And uh, the, the absence of lawsuits. You know, when I was a kid, we played football and this one kid's leg, we broke, we broke his leg. And we took him home to his mom and we said, dude, we're awful sorry, we broke Sam's leg. And she said, don't worry about it, hon, it happens. And she took the kid off to the hospital and before we were done playing football that afternoon, he was already back home with a cast on his leg. He'd already been to the hospital, been seen, brought home, and had his bones set. Now you couldn't even get the paperwork filled out in the time it takes. And the idea that his mother would look up our parents and sue because we broke his leg in a hard tackle you know, now I'm sure the first thing that would cross my mind if one of my kids came home and said, oh, gee whiz, Dad, we broke one of our friend's legs today. I'd be wondering, oh, Lord, better call the insurance company. There's going to be a lawsuit. There's going to be a complaint. Those things kind of define our generation a little bit. And so, too, I know how to use a manual pencil sharpener, the kind that used to be mounted on the wall. It, it's a different time. And even compared to my parents' and grandparents' generation, there's a lot of defining things. But... But in addition to that, there's other things that I think about, you know, that are a little bit more lighthearted, but as boomers, you know, we played football without a helmet. Uh, we played football in the rain. We got a hookworm in our feet playing in the mud and the dirt. Uh, we learned about sand spurs the hard way. 